G'day to you, thanks for joining me and today we're going to have a look at the driver's backpacks, what they wear to an event, in just a moment. Driver's backpacks, now I've got to say, this video has taken some time to research because Yes, I've had to take photos of them and a lot of the photos I took in Bahrain. Uh, and then I've had to resort to last year's photos and the years before that to just find out what they're wearing. And there are a number that don't actually wear a backpack. So I'll get them straight up front. They are Lewis Hamilton, Sergio Perez, Esteban Ocon, Charles Leclerc, Carlos Sainz, and Lance Stroll, as far as I can tell. And I've certainly got no photos of them. But let's start with Pierre Gasly. Pierre certainly stands out from most of the F1 drivers in so much as he walks in with a designer bag. This is a Louis Vuitton Trio backpack, monogram brown in canvas with gold tone. It looks glorious, doesn't it? Whether or not it's worth that price tag, who knows? But it's certainly stylish and looks good on Pierre. His teammate Yuki Tsunoda also has a backpack, but Yuki goes for the standard Alpha Tauri backpack, which I've had a look on the website and I can't actually see this version. And I can find similar models, but not this exact one with the logo embossed on the back. So perhaps this one is made just for the team. What about the Alfa Romeo drivers? What are they coming in wearing? Well, Antonio Giovinazzi is sponsored by Paul and Shark, and hence not only does he wear their shirts, but he also wears their Paul and Shark backpack. And Kimi Raikkonen comes in in this backpack, and I can't tell you what this is. And I spend a fair bit of time researching it on the net, so if you happen to know who makes this one, perhaps you'd be so kind as to leave a comment below. There is one backpack manufacturer who features rather prominently in this list, and I'll leave them to the end, but it is an international luggage maker, you probably know them, uh, European in design, and they have numerous sponsorships with teams. What about the Haas drivers, I hear you cry? Nikita's wearing an Oakley street skate backpack, retails for around 90 euros. Now, I'll be honest, I didn't even know that Oakley made backpacks. I thought they were sunglasses, but clearly they do. Nikita's teammate, Mick Schumacher, is sponsored by Under Armour, and as you'd imagine, he's wearing one of their backpacks. Couldn't find a price for it, guessing it's around about 100 euros, like most of the backpacks you're gonna see in this video. When it comes to the Renault drivers, I already mentioned that Esteban Ocon does not wear a backpack, but his teammate, Fernando Alonso, does, and this is an Alpine Stars, and I think, uh, because I've seen a similar one in a different color, this is a standby Zeno, but I think this might be specifically made for him, with the blue color, because it's not easily findable on the net. What's well, Easily, it's not, it's not findable on the net. The Aston Martin boys, I mentioned Lance Stroll doesn't wear a backpack, but Seb does, and I must admit, this took a long time to work out where this came from, and the only clue I could find was this very grainy logo down the bottom here, and I just fluked it, twigging that that was Lululemon, and indeed, he does actually wear a Lululemon Cruiser backpack. Couldn't find a price for this, and I doubt whether he would be sponsored by them. I think he probably just bought this and likes it. Let's jump to the Red Bull drivers. Sergio Perez does not wear a backpack, but Max Verstappen does, and he's wearing a Louis Vuitton Zeno Michael. It's worth around 1,900 euros, and is a nice fashion statement. Now let's have a look at the drivers who are wearing team-issued backpacks. And the main player here is Toomey, and if we start off with Valtteri Bottas, he's wearing the Toomey 15-inch Alpha 3 Brief Pack backpack. McLaren's also sponsored by Toomey, and their two drivers, Daniel and Lando, both appeared this week with the Velocity backpacks on their back from the company Toomey, and they've got that nice little orange stripe in there, which is very much McLaren, and that's made for McLaren and available in their merchandise section. And the final driver wearing Toomey is George Russell. This took a little bit of digging to work that out. His teammate, Nicholas Latifi, I can't give you any hints on what this is, and perhaps if you know, you could leave a comment below with regards to Daniel Ricciardo, I have seen him in the past wearing a Gucci bag, this LA Angels bag, which is quite gorgeous. And Pierre Gasly's also worn a red Gucci bag into the track going back a couple of years ago. One final driver who's a reserve driver, Alex Albon, caught him coming in wearing this Picardro backpack. But I couldn't find this particular model available on any site, so I've got no idea what it's worth, uh, what it's called for that matter. But definitely, backpacks can be a fashion statement, and I imagine that the, a lot of these manufacturers will be very happy to see people like these drivers rolling up to the track in them, and then obviously me reporting on what they're wearing. That gets them great extra value. And if you'd like to send me a bag, I'm happy to accept, because I don't have one with me this trip.
Most people come home with more luggage than when they leave home. So it's always a good idea to take a simple bag like this, which folds out easily and quickly. And as you can see, you get a fair bit in a bag like that. This one's a Samsonite, but there are plenty of others on the market. Now you may remember that in a video I posted about a week ago, I mentioned that I'd shot Lewis Hamilton doing a photo shoot in the car park just out in front of the paddock in Bahrain. Well, a couple of days after I posted that video, I see this picture pop up on Lewis's page promoting that particular top he was wearing. Yes, it is available if you want to go and purchase it. I've only got two more nights here in beautiful Bologna, and then I'm heading to Imola for race two on the calendar. And what does the weather forecast say? It says, I'll need this rain for the next week in this part of Italy. And for those of you Lando Norris fans who may have missed the video that I put up yesterday, here it is for you today. I can't remember seeing a pizza ever being delivered into a paddock before, uh, but when I saw Otmar Safnauer from Heston Martin bringing a pizza in the other day, it grabbed my attention. I asked him the next day uh, what that was about, and he mentioned that it was just for one of the team members who wanted it. It wasn't for him. Of course, I'm in the home of pizza right now in Italy, and uh, I must admit I didn't get pineapple on my pizza the other day because, as you know, the Italians view that as somewhat of a travesty. And finally, in closing, Here's some pictures of Charles walking in the other day, giving us the thumbs up as he entered the Bahrain paddock. And he should be very much at home next race at Imola, being the home of Ferrari, or Italy is. But of course, there are no spectators at the event, which will be interesting because last race in Bahrain, we did have spectators. Hey, uh, can I ask you a favor? Please, could you please like this video if you haven't done so yet? If you haven't subscribed, I'd love it if you did that too. Members, you're always welcome. You get extra things. Earlier this week, I posted an exclusive video just for members, and there'll be more of that over the coming year. Remember, you can get my digital images at ProStarPix.com. You'll find my F1 driver photo books at KimIllman.com, and they feature new pictures from Bahrain already. And after this race, they'll feature new pictures from Imola, if I get some good ones. And it may well be wet weather pics for the first day or two anyway, the way the forecast is looking. And if you're looking for my best pictures live from the track and during the week, head to Instagram at Kim Elman. Thanks for watching and stay passionate. And you get a bit What is that? <laughs>